Greetings to your adorers. In the previous videos about invoicing, I mainly focused on issuing invoices to my clients. However, that wouldn't be possible without paying bills to my suppliers. When it comes to bills that have been issued by others, it might happen that the tax computation differs from the one I'm using. Let's see with an example. I'm buying two products that each have a 10% tax. If my supplier rounds the taxes line by line, each tax amount is rounded and then summed up. That's the default method set up in Odoo. On the other hand, if my supplier rounds the tax globally, then the taxes are first summed up and the total is then rounded. As you can see, the total is different. Luckily, I have just received two bills to add to my accounting application so we can see together how to work with this on our Odoo database. All right, so here I am on my database, specifically on the accounting module. From here, we can go ahead and create some vendor bills, okay? So I can do that right here from the overview that I'm looking at right now by clicking on new bill underneath the vendor bill section, or I can go to vendors, bills, and create a new one from this page. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so first of all, Odoo will generate um, a bill uh, reference, a bill reference for us. Okay, let's go ahead and choose the vendor and also add the vendor reference. So let's say invoice 2019-0001, there one. All right, I'm even going to add the bill date. So let's say last Friday and it will be due this coming Friday. Then we're going to go ahead and add the product, quantity 10. All right, now I want to say that this product is linked to my expenses account, all right, but if you need to change this for some reason, for example, if you have um, a product for your bank fees, okay, and it needs to be linked to the bank fees account, you can simply modify that right here or even on the product template. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this window. We'll go to the accounting section and we can modify the expense account right here. All right, but I'm happy with the way that it is for the moment, so I'm going to leave it like that. All right, now what I'm, what I'm gonna do is modify um, the tax just a bit, okay? So as we can see in the bottom left, I have a tax description, tax account, and also tax amount. So what I'm gonna do is actually add a cent right here, okay? Because taxes calculated by Odoo may uh, differ from what is written on the vendor bill, okay? So this is because there are two different ways of rounding taxes. All right, so if I need to adjust it, it can simply be done by modifying the amount right here as you just saw. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. And what I'm going to do actually is add an attachment, okay? I'm going to add uh, the PDF of the invoice that the vendor provided me with, okay? Because I want to have that bill in my Odoo account and I also want to be able to see the related um, invoice as well. So we can do so simply by clicking on the little paperclip icon and then add that attachment right here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. We can open and then we'll see that we have a PDF attached. We can also add an attachment by logging a note and adding that attachment right here. So anytime you see that little paperclip icon. All right, now from here, we're going to go back to vendors and then we're gonna check out our vendors, our, our contacts for the vendors. All right, so I created one right here. All right, and what, when I created this vendor, I was sure to add two things, okay? Under the Sales and Purchases tab, I was sure to mark them as a vendor. And then I also added an account number under the accounting number for their bank account. All right, but now what I'm going to do is actually upload an invoice um, from this vendor. So let's go back to Vendors, Bills, and then Upload. Okay, I'm going to upload that file. All right, let's go ahead and select this one right here and open and import. All right, okay. So as you may have just noticed, I, um, I minimized the screen just a little bit so that I can see this really cool preview on the right. Um, just as a note, if you have your screen too zoomed in, you won't be able to see this awesome preview, but you can always access that PDF down here. Okay, so the PDF file is added to the chatter as we just saw and can easily be found by clicking on uh, the paper clip. So I can click on this and access that PDF right there as well. So let's imagine you have a lot of notes in the chatter here. You don't want to scroll all the way down to the PDF. You can access it simply by clicking here. All right, and since the invoice we just uploaded has been generated by another Odoo database, it can read an XML file that is inside the PDF file and it has allowed our database to autofill everything, which we see right here. So that's super convenient, super cool. All right, so we see the information here and it corresponds to the information on the left. All right, let's go ahead and validate this. 
And then let's go back to our overview. What we're going to do now is upload another vendor bill, and we can do that directly from the, uh, from the accounting overview as well. So let's go to import bill, upload file. All right, and we're going to choose this um, invoice right here and open. Import. Okay, once we open this, again, we're gonna have that preview on the left. And since this wasn't generated by um, another Odoo database, we are going to send the file through the OCR. So we can do that by clicking on this button. Okay, it may take a few seconds, but we can always update the status to make it a bit faster. All right, and we see that that information is um, populated on the bill right there. Okay, so that's also super convenient, but there may be some things that we have to modify. For example, we don't have a vendor selected here. So what we're gonna do is click on edit. Okay, and actually I'm gonna go to the top and I'm gonna select vendor right here, and then I'm gonna choose the vendor's name from the PDF. So I'm gonna click on wood corner, and that's automatically added right there. So fast, so easy. So this feature just saves you a ton of time and it's definitely something you should take advantage of. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.